Streferous Merriman. Merriman. This is what I think, thought of immediately. I thought of Juliet when I heard that word because she is, always has such high energy. She's a very passionate individual, a dynamic speaker. And all those things came out quite clearly in her speech today. Um, <laughs> the purpose of the speech was how to say it and how to use words economically, watch for jargon. To use vivid words, I incorporate devices such as similes, metaphors, alliterations, triads, things of that nature, and to be specific. And I think Juliet covered those all very well. She opened with due diligence on dogs, which I thought was a wonderful phrase. She used phrases like death bands and mass graves, horrible images for a horrible situation. She also had many other phrases in there that were marvelous. Unfortunately, I couldn't write them all down all at once, but they were very vivid phrases when talking about her dogs, particularly when she described how the one dog was going through the weeds. It wasn't the wind, it was <laughs> Mr. Blizzard, which was wonderful. I did notice, um, few things that perhaps, such as uh, four foot tall, four feet tall, um, there weren't very many specific grammar points that I noticed, however. Let's see. And perhaps a longer pause when you, you talked about how the dogs were being, this horrible thing that was happening to these racing dogs, and you paused a little bit uh, when you said it was because they didn't win perhaps a slightly longer pause to let it really sink in that this horrible thing is happening to these animals because they don't win or they retire from their racing days. I also recommend um, perhaps slightly more for the introduction and conclusion. You said, I'm going to tell you why the, about the Ferguson's search for the perfect dog and uh, that, was, that was great and then you, you dived right in. Perhaps you could have mentioned a little bit more of what we could expect, such as the dogs you were going to talk about or how you came across the greyhounds. Something like a little bit more detailed to kind of get us hooked in a little bit more. And the same thing with your conclusion. You said, well, that's how we came to find our perfect dog. And perhaps a little more detail would have been nice. However, all in all, it was a, it was a fabulous speech. More great phrases. I mean, you had so many great phrases like the cat protection zone. That was so great to bring the cat into it because anybody who's had cats and dogs both knows that both viewpoints are very important. <laughs> you have to take that in, into account, otherwise, there will be much mayhem. And I, overall, I think it was a great, energetic, passionate, dynamic speech. I mean, we can really tell that you really care about your dogs and they're part of your life, and it was just fabulously fun speech. You had the stuffed toys and the, the visual of the, the board and whatnot. It was great. Thank you, Joe.